Hey, hello, it's Simona. Thanks a lot for joining me today. Today's topic will be about entrepreneurs, intrapreneurs, and solopreneurs. So I'll be talking about the differences and similarities between those, and uh, I believe it will be interesting and I even might help you to take a decision. As I left my corporate job, I knew that I wanted to become an entrepreneur. I wanted to build my own business and I set my goals really high and I wanted to build my own organization. And I did. I still have those super powerful aspirational goals and I believe I can achieve them. And I, I'm still building my team and still building and growing my business. So uh, I am really that entrepreneur. But uh, people decide to go and build their own businesses different ways. And usually how it starts is either you leave a corporate job as I did or you already have a hobby or you already have a weekend job which you really enjoy. And then one day uh, that hobby might become a bigger business or uh, you change, for example, making jewelry into your uh, full-time job or your weekend job becomes something you're really passionate about. And if you're really passionate about something, then uh, you believe that you can grow it. At that certain point, you are a so-called sidepreneur, meaning that you have uh, your regular job and then the business which you are doing next to it and enjoying next to it. As it grows really big, you decide to take it on the, uh, on the entrepreneurship path and really build your own business. At that moment, if you are alone, you are a solopreneur. So somebody who has their own business is uh, like employed by themselves and they are a solopreneur. And some people really enjoy that role because they have a smaller number of clients, they either work like uh, coaches on for one-on-one -on -one, or they work in a smaller groups with their coaches and they enjoy that path and they might stay like that for a very, very long time. So don't, they don't have that ambition and desire to really grow uh, hugely and bigly their business, but they enjoy being solopreneurs and having their own business, which they really love and having that freedom of being an entrepreneur. Um, once you decide that you want to grow your business, and as I said at the beginning, and you decide that you really want to uh, take that business on a higher level, that you want to scale it, then of course you are not thinking only about how to find the financial grounds or founding your business, but you are also thinking how you will build your own team. Then you think as an entrepreneur. Because all entrepreneurs are those people who really see in every single problem an opportunity. So problems or opportunities or create opportunities for them and they don't know that they will have the full responsibility for their business, that they will have to find the foundings, that they will have the full responsibility of decision making, that they will have to bring added value and that they are under a, quite a pressure of really succeeding very quickly. And this is the entrepreneurship mindset where we really consider ourselves like sparking the flame and really creating every single uh, um, opportunity into something new. So it has to be something new that you are an entrepreneur and working on that uh, long term. Uh, on the other hand, entrepreneurs do understand business on the big scale, macro scale, so understanding the whole situation, what's going around and creating the business, developing people, developing their teams. On the other hand, there are um, entrepreneurs who don't want to build and scale their huge business and they would like to be part of the team. And I have a lot of colleagues who are so-called intrapreneurs who do love to be part of the team, who are great experts and who work on their businesses to be part of the bigger corporation. So those are entrepreneurs. Entrepreneurs are people who might see problem as a risk, a risk for themselves and a risk for the corporation. So they have that fear usually that they don't know how to sell them or they have a fear from selling. And then they love to be part of the team and part of the corporation where they share 
the decision making responsibility where they don't have to found their own business and they really create uh, an additional value as an expert so entrepreneurs are great experts who are a great part of the team and they might stay like that forever because they really enjoy it I really know a lot of people who enjoy such a role and they are a great asset because they provide a huge and high level of services and they keep the flame going. If I said that entrepreneurs spark the flame, then entrepreneurs keep the flame going. All in all, those are the differences and you might decide whatever your best option is to go on the path or even build your own business, but what you are sure of if you think about it that there are also similarities for all those roles all people who consider to build their own business or take the path to go and uh, be entrepreneurs entrepreneurs or sidepreneurs are really passionate about something what they do they are innovative and they are creative they are a self-starter and they have that self-drive which really moves them forward and they passionately think about not only what they do but what they would, they would also like to achieve and uh, what they carry is the courage to overcome the fear from failure and that's common to all of them so if you have that passion for drive for innovation and creativity and you are self-disciplined and persevering then make that decision build your own business whatever form or model you like and you really enjoy it all is good important is that you enjoy it there are several ways and also several um, uh, models how you can do it you might go for a social preneur or infopreneur or solopreneur or mompreneur business you might become a founder or a business owner all those are the options which are available out there if you're on that path i really wish you all the best and all the luck and keep going and really as i like to say often shoot for the moon because even if you miss you will land among the stars so set your goals really high and enjoy every single day on your entrepreneurship path until then i hope you will meet me again as i post another video but until then give us a like if you are excited about this and subscribe and hit the bell so you'll be notified every single time i post a video and until we see each other think bold act fast and be fierce take care ciao ciao